Hey guys, Tarek Maryface here from Maryface Gaming. You may have this problem. I tend not to do tech tutorials, but I have this issue and I'm so happy I fixed it. And it turns out I'm not the only one who has it. If you are with Virgin Broadband and you are having kick-ass speeds on your Wi-Fi, but your cabled connection is being really poor and it's really annoying you, well, I've got the solution for you, which apparently nobody has found and the only way I found it is from pure luck and experimentation, not from skill or knowledge. So be warned. Uh, so we're going to go to the network tab here and we're going to go to network and internet settings. Here, we're going to go down to change adapter options. This is Windows 10, obviously. So we're going to get to our adapter, right click and go on status. I'm doing this a long winded way. Properties and then configure. Now we've got this window. This window you're going to spend a little bit of time with, as well as with a website like this, speedtest.com, uh, where you press go and then it tests your speed. Take a benchmark. So this is it after it's been fixed. For me, it was stuck at about 30 when I was uh, tethered. It was pissing me off. Uh, first things first is check here on this initial window that your speed's limited to one gigabit, right? So obviously I'm assuming you've done all the other stuff like checking that you got a Cat 5e or more cable, that your drivers are up to date, etc., etc. So if if you've done that, if this is not at 100 gigabit per second, you're going to come down here in the advanced settings to the speed and duplex and you're going to set it to auto negotiation. Uh, now, it might be set at 100 meg uh, megabits, full duplex or half duplex or whatever. Uh, you might also be tempted to set it to the other ones. Don't bother, just auto negotiation. Press OK. These two windows will close. This will stop work. This will show you that you're offline, so you get disconnected from the internet for about 10 to 20 seconds or so. Once you're back online, press the button, do the test. You may get some improvement, probably get some improvement, but not much. So. Once you've done that, you go to the next step. Come up here, and you got these two modes, right? You got interrupt moderation. Now it's enabled, and by default it should be enabled, and that's good. I thought it was bad, so I turned it off. Part of my experimentation didn't help, but interrupt moderation did. So it was set at extreme when I first started. So I thought, okay, I will try setting it to low. And lo and behold, I saw some improvement. So I figured, oh, sweet. So I, I set it to medium initially, not low. And I saw, oh, sweet. OK, cool. So if I set it to minimal, it will be even better. But actually, that made things worse. So what you should do is start at low, because that's the one that's worked for me. So that's the one. That's the place I recommend you start. Press OK. It's two windows closed. This will go. This will disconnect for 20 seconds from the internet. Once you're back onto the internet, run the test, and then experiment. Go back into this menu. So just a reminder to get into the menu. Right click, status, properties, configure, advanced. Okay, these are the steps. Internet moderation great, and keep experimenting until you find the optimal speed, which I have here with mine set to low, which will may or may not be different for you. I'm not going to pretend I know why it would be or wouldn't be. So that's it. And I am so happy that, ah, oh, it's so pretty. Triple digis. So yeah, that, that's the tutorial, guys. I hope, I hope this helps you because I feel so happy I fixed this. I don't make tech tutorials, but, but I'm so happy I found this fix that I hope I make someone else as ha as hap uh, someone else as happy as I am right now by finding the end of this nightmare of googling and trying to talk to Virgin and not getting any answers. I'm Tarek Mariface. I'll see you guys next time and happy gaming.